So I found a four leaf clover in my backyard. It was quite an adventure to get to this point. I actually had to look at 16,866 clovers before I actually found one with four leaves. Since this was such a momentous occasion, I decided to make a keepsake so that I could remember. There are a bunch of different ways of preserving plants, but one of the most common and has been used for years is pressing them. And in this instance, I am going to press this clover in a rather ancient set of encyclopedias that my grandfather bequeathed to me many years ago. To do this, you're taking a three-dimensional object and pressing it down to two dimensions. And even though it looks relatively flat, it isn't. And here I am fidgeting and fidgeting, trying to get it to lay down correctly. Uh, I am pressing him between uh, two pieces of archival paper. This is sort of the acid-free archival paper you can pick up at many hobby shops, typically in the uh, photograph section for preserving that. And I'm doing it because I'm a little worried that maybe the ink will bleed onto the, the clover, although I don't know if it really will or not. And here I am trying to get the exact position that I'm happy with and being very gentle so that I don't break any of it. And once I'm sort of happy with how it's positioned, press it down firmly, not too hard, carefully close the encyclopedia on it. And I'm using these encyclopedias because they're flat and they're relatively heavy. At this point, I'm going to take the encyclopedia, put it back on the shelf, and I'm going to stack a bunch of other encyclopedias on top of it for added weight. And I'm going to end up leaving it here for about a month. A couple weeks is probably long enough, but I ended up getting busy and didn't get back to it for a while. So you can certainly do a month. You can even do longer. You can keep them there for years if you really want to. So here it is about a month later, uh, the time for the grand reveal to see how it turned out. I did not look at it at all in the meantime. I'm being overly careful here, probably, but that's just sort of the how I am. I'm being very, very careful because I didn't really have many chances to redo this. And it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with that. I wish that the uh, stem was shifted a little bit, I guess, but but overall it, it looks great. Um, you know, I like that. It is now basically the same width as a photograph. You know, once again, good, good, we're good so far. So now I'm going to take this clover and I'm going to put it in a picture frame. And in this instance, I chose a picture frame that has a glass front and a glass back. This is simply a matter of opinion of what I thought would look really good. You can do a bunch of other different things. Uh, here I am positioning it a little bit. As always, be careful of dust specks and fingerprints and that sort of thing. Um, you may have noticed in the promo image that I held up a piece of white paper behind it so you could see it better. Uh, you can certainly do white paper or any other type of colored background if you think that that looks better. And once again, that's a matter of personal preference. And I just happen to like the look of the glass front and the glass back. And here's the final product, and I'm extremely happy with it. I have it sitting on my desk right now, and it, it looks great. It looks really, really good. Um, so this video is a little different than some of the other videos uh, we've been producing. Uh, if you like it, please leave a comment down below, and I can look into doing more of these as we do a lot of sort of artsy nature stuff in our household. And as always, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to hit the like button subscribe and hit the notifications so that you can see when more videos are coming out. And as always, until the next video, have fun exploring nature.